Well, you mock my haircut, getting a tight fade, but you shave your head. I wasn't, I wasn't mocking it. It was a mock. It's a mock, it was, yeah. It was not. I was just noticing you got a haircut. I got a haircut too yesterday. I was hoping you noticed, but you didn't. No, my feelings sorry. are hurt. I'm sorry. This is making fun. I was trying to share a mutual bond of haircutting. Yeah. I pro- we are awesome dads, okay husbands, and terrible golfers. We dive into golf, fatherhood, and life. This is the Breakfast Balls Podcast. Nailed it. Welcome to episode 82 of the Breakfast Balls Podcast with your host, Mark Budden. And that's it. Just me tonight. I'm just kidding. There he is. You are so funny. I know. There he is. There's Chris. Such a jokester. What a jokester. Joining us live from Arlington Heights, Illinois. Mark, where are you located? The lovely village of Mount Prospect? Um, Yeah, sure. Up on the mountaintop, up here in uh, the prospects of Mount. I'm kind of interested is why your town is Mount Prospect and my town is Arlington Heights. Uh, neither of which are elevated communities above yeah. sea level. I was going to say Mount Prospect and Arlington Heights are probably about the uh, 10 to 100 feet above sea level. Um, to yeah, really, we're, we're in the great Midwest, the plains. The great flatlands of Illinois. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get that one hill that's maybe like 20 feet high. By you? You got a retention pond too. Yeah, that doesn't count. That's low. That's, That's true. That goes down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No. It's not a hill. Uh, wow, we got sidetracked right from the get-go. Talking about the elevation changes. Do we have any uh, guests tonight? Yeah. <laughs> episode 82. Let's see. For those just tuning in and haven't listened in a few episodes, we had Jerry Rice join us on episode 80. Um, and then we had Terrell Owens scheduled for uh, 81, but he bailed uh, last minute text like mid mid podcast. He, sorry, we saw him at the Bulls game later. It's <laughs> true, we did see him at the Bulls game. Uh, so we're at 82. There is practically no famous 82s from the NFL. There's five. In the Hall of Fame that wore number 82 at some point in their career. Jeez. I'm guessing there's more that wore number 69. None none of which are worthy enough to come into our podcast. So uh, we decided to not have a special guest for this episode. Makes sense. So you're stuck with Mark? Just me. I'm the host today. (laughs) I got Chris Laporta as my guest. What number did you wear when you played uh, collegiate football? I uh, wore 44 for two years and then 97 for the last two years. Did they just give you like what was left? No, I, I, I don't know. I, I picked 44 and I picked 97. Any significant value whatsoever? No, no. Cool. No, zero. Just, uh, you know, kind of random 44. And then I was like, you know what? I want to be number 97. So that's what I did. Maybe 97 was a special year for me. I don't remember. And you would have, well, you would have been 12. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. No, I would have been much older than that. 97? I would have been 14 or 15. Yeah. 14. Sounds, that does sound better. <laughs> it was my freshman year of high school. Wow. Freshman year of high school. <laughs> Uh, yeah, makes more sense, I guess. All right, so what do we got? We got this week is the Farmers National Invitational Open and in, um, championship, championship in Farmers Lahaya. Farmers... I got you. Farmers Insurance Open. The in Farmers La Joyla. La Joyla. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Play yes, the yeah. easy version of Tory Pines this week. What, what do you mean the easy version? The non-US Open? Non-US Open oh, okay. version. Right. Yeah. They use it's usually a much different uh, course. Fairways 
open up a little bit. Rough's a little less. This is a tournament they played north and south, right? They play both tracks? They might. I think they do. They I think might. each day you play one. Play one or the other and you play. Got it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'm pretty sure. It's still pretty cool. And then I think yeah. they, they, they play. Do they do this? They can't do the same on Sunday. Right? They probably do. Well, I think after the sacks. field gets cut. Everyone they plays do. one course yeah. Saturday, okay. one course Sunday, maybe. Oh, they flip it again. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying everyone plays the same course Saturday, and then everyone plays the same course Sunday after the cut, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you can't beat San Diego golf weather. Not usually. Might no. be a chilly uh, 64 degrees as a high. Yeah. Like the sun shining. Yeah. Especially on the water there. So there's a lot of golfers this weekend. A lot of people to choose from. Yep. Uh, how many? To. What is it down to? Like a thousand? They have 168 or something like that here. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a lot a, of golfers. Big number. Okay. Well, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. If you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. No. Go ahead. I uh, I would like to take a, um, a recent Ryder Cupper, Daniel Berger, okay. to uh, win, win to win the win Farmers. And then uh, to come in a hopeful of a top 10 would be one Keegan Bradley. Keegan? Yes. Wearing the Jordans, most likely. Most likely he'll be wearing Jordans. He's been rocking a lot. So. Yeah. Him and Jordan are best friends now. So That's right. They play a lot of golf together. Or they used to. Yeah. Um, All right, so who are you going to pick? I mean, Sam Burns to win. Who? Sam Burns. I'm kidding. Samuel Go. Burns. Samuel, Samuel L. Burns. Burns. <laughs> Motherfucking snakes. <laughs> play. And uh, my top 10, uh, Justin Rose. Justin. At 65 to 1. Uh, like I think I saw him 60, yeah, 65. One. Yeah, it's. Uh, kind of like him to yeah. <laughs> finish top 10 at that payout. Uh, yeah. Take it. It was Samuel Burns, Snakes on a Motherfucking Plane, and Justin, Kissed by a Rose. <laughs> <laughs> little seal? What? Little junior high prom? God. You got me on that one. Little yes. Batman? Little Kissed by a Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't feel like that's Batman, but it could be. Yeah, it's from Batman. I don't remember Batman. It, it could be the one with Catwoman. What? I'm getting R&D on it. Yeah, Seal. God, what a, he had a he, Batman. I asked him to tell me what song, what song, what Batman was kissed from a rose in. Batman Forever. That's the one with um, Catwoman. Halle Berry, right? Catwoman? Yeah, Batman Forever. I don't... <laughs> I You're think, not sure? Well, I'm just saying, I don't think Catwoman was... Uh, Halle Berry was ever in Batman. Yeah, she was Catwoman. She had her own movie. It was called Catwoman. Who was the, who was the Catwoman in Batman Michelle Forever? Michelle Pfeiffer. God damn it, you're right. <sighs> Does it bother you? <laughs> no, I just, I really like Batman and Batman Forever, and now it pisses it just me really off. like Halle Berry. Yeah, I really like Halle Berry, too. Wasn't Batman Forever, though, the one with uh, Schwarzenegger, or is that a different one? Yeah, that was a different one. That was the one with Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Uh, Batman Forever... Batman two had Rid had Riddler and Two Face in it. Yeah, Batman Returns has um, what's her name? I just said it. Michelle Pfeiffer. Batman Returns. Got... Batman Returns is the one with Catwoman. Yeah, you're right. Then uh, the third one is Val Kilmer and. It's Batman Forever. That one's Batman Forever. Yeah, Two Face and the other guy. Yeah. 
Joker, the Riddler, Two Face and the Riddler, Tommy Lee Jones, and Jim Carrey. Oh God, yeah. What's Tommy Lee Jones' best movie? Come on, it's got to be the same. We got to be thinking the same one. I don't know. Now you got me worried. Fugitive. Yeah. It's got to be Fugitive. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Not Men in Black. That's what I thought you were going to no, say. No. Right, it's got to be Fugitive. Men in Black is a little too cheesy for me. I think, I think you're right. Fugitive is a freaking phenomenal movie. I mean, it, it's arguably better than Star Wars for Harrison Ford. Maybe not money wise, but it was a better movie. For oh, him. I was just like money wise. I doubt it. Even. Although, I mean, you did fucking Indiana Jones series, all three, four movies too. He's got two. Can't Indiana go wrong with. Can't go wrong with Indiana Jones. The most, the most popular all time trilogy. I think his best performance ever was fucking Fugitive. Harrison? Yeah. What about Air Force One? Get off no. my plane. No, no. Oh, I, I was I don't agree with I don't think it is. Yeah. I mean <clears throat> Star Wars nuts are gonna say otherwise, but maybe not. But I mean he's really good Indiana Jones too, but it's gotta be for me it's fugitive. I think I watched that movie a thousand times I as a kid. It. Don't I hate it. I don't hate it. I yeah. start talking about Harrison Ford. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know how long it's been. But <laughs> we're talking about Tommy Lee. Really, we're talking about bat, Kiss from a Rose. I got it all figured out. Just Justin Kiss from a Rose. <laughs> Way yeah. to come full circle. Hold that off. Way yeah. to come full circle. Oh. If- Figure I, we figured it out. Usually we can't figure out the origins of our nonsense, but we just did. Oh, so how'd your lesson with TJ go? Uh yeah, it's fine. I haven't swung in a long time. Did yeah. okay, made some contact. Did you hit the ball? Made contact a couple times. With the with the club face? <laughs> 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 the, maybe not the face per se, but it was definitely with the club. <laughs> made some contact yeah. with the club. <laughs> the grip. I think the grip might have hit it. Threw my club at it once. What's your uh what was your diagnosis for the day? What was your what were you guys working on? Like, hey, at least you weren't you're not as bad as you were when you started. Um <laughs> that was a conversation you had. No. Um yeah, he had me do some like Level set skill test where he hit a couple shots from each. Uh, oh, yeah. How'd that go? Uh, yeah, short iron's good, long iron's bad. So Fat shots? Just everything. Yeah, so anytime I, it. it was like six and up it was awful. So five and, or probably seven and up too. But like anything in, I was fine. You're one year older than me. Uh, I think more, right? No, just one. I thought it was two. How old are you? You're only 37, right? I was born in 84. Yeah, so you'll be 38 this year. One year older. You're one year older. I'll be 39. Hasn't changed. Just one year. Hasn't changed. Since I met you. Are you sure? I I guess. I don't know what that means. Like I'm pretty 13, sure I know when I'm bored. It's 13 months, right? Oh, sure. 13. It's 13 months and seven days. We're going to be technical here. It sounds like you're being very technical. Yeah. Well, you mock my haircut getting a tight fade, but you shave your mock, head. I wasn't, I wasn't mocking it. It was a mock. It's a mock, it was, yeah. It was not. I was just noticing you got a haircut. I got a haircut too yesterday. I was hoping you noticed, but you didn't. Now my feelings Sorry. are hurt. I'm sorry. I wasn't making fun of you. I was trying to share in a mutual bond of haircutting. Yeah. I, pro- I went to um, 
the sports clubs that you used to go to. Well, maybe you used to go to that one. I don't know. One on Kensington? Yeah. Yeah, I go to that one. Yeah, I didn't know if you switched since no, one my girls are closer to your house. Yvonne. Yeah, I've done Yvonne. I don't remember who I had this time. She's Samantha. The best. Yvonne's Yvonne. the best one there. She's like the no manager, question, but... right? Or is she the really no. hot blonde? No, Yvonne's like 60 years old. Oh, definitely not. Maybe 65. <laughs> she's, but she's the best. She does an awesome job. She takes mm-hmm. her time, even though it's a buzz cut. Licks your butthole Trim- when it's over. Trims, trims the beard. Does the good shampoo. Gives me the... Uh, Gives me the moisturizing treatment. So my she scalp does a good dry in the wintertime. She gives you the double. You get the shampoo and then I get that moisturizer. So my, you know, my bald head isn't chapped in the wintertime. She takes care of her people. That's good. I'm glad to hear you're one of her people. She, just, she does a good job. I'm satisfied with my haircut from Yvonne. It only costs $18. It's not true. Maybe 20 tops. I get the buzz cut. You get the buzz cut and the special the shaper, the shaper. bald man chapped conditioner. 20 bucks spot. tops plus tip. No chance. No chance. What do you mean no chance? I've never paid more than $20 for a haircut there. And then I leave a yeah. tip. Never. How much do you get charged? See, I know Yvonne. She always gives me a discount too. I, it's always like around 30 bucks. That's with tip? No, without tip. No, no way. That is crazy yeah. expensive. Man. You got 25 you're, for the haircut. You're being taken advantage of. Five for your beard. I don't get charged for my beard. You oh, get charged for your beard. I get charged for my beard, yeah. <laughs> you get charged for the beard. The charge for my beard there. I've been going there for like five years. Guys, it was a line item charge or for the beard. That's why I go to Yvonne. Beard. Yvonne doesn't charge me for anything. I pay like the lowest rate. You pay the senior discounted rate. And I tip her. I tip her like twelve or twelve to fifteen bucks every time. You give her cash. Uh no, either through the machine or cash. Doesn't matter. She gets, well, she does she gets the same amount. Why? If you, cash is. If it's credit, if she's got to report it. Oh. If it's cash, supposed to she report does all your, not. You're supposed to report all your tips on anyways. Yeah, I'm sure you are fucking pristine on your taxes with all your fucking <laughs> deductions. <laughs> the IRS is listening. Own, I don't do my The IRS taxes. is listening. You might have to check out. That does yeah. my taxes and uh-huh. signs off on it. So if they're wrong, it's on her. I don't do anything illegal. That's how it works. Yeah, they're liable. That's why you hire an account. They have liability insurance for that reason. They're saying this the the IRS is gonna make, oh well, he uses an account and we're not going after him. No, but I go after the account. Though. Sure. Too late. All those questionable I nothing, practices. I, the I have nothing to worry about. Donations, deductions. Yeah. I make a shit ton of donations every year. Funny money is what you got over there. Funny money. Magic internet money. Thanks everyone for joining us for this episode of the Breakfast Balls podcast. If you like what you heard and like learning from our mistakes, please subscribe. Also, if you're on Instagram, please follow us at breakfastballs.podcast. Panda! Listen! I'm just famous, black at six, family, what you see, panda, panda swoon, fanny, salad bar, candy, and I'm the macho like Randy. What episode are we on? The um, Greg Olson episode. Greg Olson episode. I don't know. I- I don't know who else. I don't. I can't think of another good number ninety to eighty-two. It's not. See, look at you. I'm trying to chew on it. I can't. Doesn't taste like anything. Nothing. Um, 
really struggling right now. Struggle bus for 82. Come on, look this up. Get R and D on it. There's got to be a famous number 82. We're missing something. Oh, yeah, has to be. Got to be a good tight end in there. Greg Olson. (laughs) It's a good tight end. (laughs) All right, take that back. He had a good year or a good career. Ozzy Newsom, yeah. Raymond yeah. Berry, Alan Who? Page. Yeah, exactly. John Stallworth. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Um, I think Ozzy Newsom is too. Maybe not. Ozzy Newsom is for sure. Antoine Randall L. Antoine Randall L. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Rudolph. Um, How many times are you going to say Kyle Rudolph? Just the best number 82. Just, just I'd say best. Mm, uh, yeah. Mario Manningham. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> he had that one good catch. <sighs> Who are we missing here? There's got to be someone. No, man. I, I gave you the I gave you the list here. Ozzy, Ozzy, John Stallworth, Shannon, if Shannon Sharpless says we're in '82. Yeah, we said that, didn't we? Yeah. He wore 82 at the Ravens and 84 at the Broncos. They said that. Yeah. I mean, I think his years, his best years were with the Broncos, all right. Well, and most of his career was with the Broncos. Yeah. That's why I feel like 82 is kind of a cheap. Agree. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's um, a winner. Don Beebe. Don. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, there's, there's, there's got to be something. Is this number cursed that we don't know about? Yeah, Mark, uh, this is, I mean, this is the bet. Tory Smith. <laughs> oh, Dwayne, boy. Dwayne Bow. Remember Dwayne Bow? Remember Dwayne Bow? For a minute. Um, I mean, it was not good, but. Hmm? Jake um, Reed. I need a Jake Reed from the Minnesota Vikings. Back in the Chris Carter days, Dante Hall, Dante Hall, Ben Watson. Oh, there is, there we go. Give me some tight ends. I did, I did. I know ben Watson, did. John Taylor, Earl Thomas, Earl Thomas. Hmm, okay, yeah, I believe you. They're reading from uh, a, reading from yeah. a list. Pro <laughs> Hall, Football Hall of Fame players that were eighty-two. Substantial players were in 82. There's only five players that have 82 in the Hall of Fame. Something Shannon about Sharp, that number. Shannon Sharp. I don't know if it said they wore 82. So obviously could just, just wore 82 at some point. I'm pretty sure he was 84. Yeah, no, Him I don't his disagree. Brother were 84. This doesn't this doesn't say Hall of Fame players in the Hall of Fame at number 82. They said they wore 82 at some point in their career. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I mean, we got, it's limited. It's, it's really limited. I don't know who we're going to have on today's show. I don't even know half these people. How are you supposed to get them on a podcast? It's just a good question. Uh, yeah, I don't have that answer. What, uh, what logo do you got on there? Where? On your shirt. Oh, spyglass, dude. It's like hard to see just by the curvature and the light. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah. God, you look so high right now. <laughs> <laughs>